Hey, yeah, we're going to see temperatures kind of all over the place, but it's warm the next two days. It's really later this week that we see temperatures cool back down again, and it's not cold. We're just closer to 80 instead of in the 80s, but rising levels of humidity as we head through the day tomorrow. Along with it, there is a chance for an afternoon shower. If you don't see a shower in the afternoon, you will likely get one, or at least some towns will get them as we head into the evening. The problem, though, is this time of year is that showers and storms can be hit or miss. We saw that over the weekend and a lot of folks would actually love to get some rain at this point for your dry lawn or your dry garden. Get a little bit of help from Mother Nature. Warm again on Wednesday before we see those temperatures dip back a little bit, but we were kind of right in the middle today. The hottest July 4th on record 99. That was set back in 1911. The coldest 49. The rainiest that would put a damper on your plans. One and a half inches. That was set back in 1923, but today we were in the middle with high temperatures in the mid 80s, which is exactly average for this time of year and kind of what you want to see for the 4th of July, especially minus the humidity. It made it more comfortable. Temperatures are in the 60s to right around 70 degrees tonight. The radar and satellite quiet close to home, but we're watching these showers in the Great Lakes and how much of those will hold together by the time they get here. We're not anticipating any severe weather, but there is a chance for a thunderstorm in spots as we head into tomorrow evening. Low temperatures tonight dropping through the 60s, except for northeastern Connecticut, where it could be a little bit cooler. Heading through the day tomorrow, similar temperatures to today, but just feeling different because we will have more humidity high temperatures rising into the low to mid 80s. And the reason we'll have more humidity is because we'll have a warm front that'll be lifting through the state that will also bring us more clouds than we've had out there the last couple of days. So a mix of sun and clouds in the morning, but mostly cloudy by afternoon with that rising chance for some scattered showers. And I think those showers will be even more numerous as we head into tomorrow evening and then turning less humid as Wednesday wears on. However, I think it starts humid in the morning, so you wake up and it's really steamy and high temperatures climbing into the mid to upper 80s and not just inland, but right down to the shoreline because we'll have a northwesterly breeze that will allow it to be quite a warm beach day. So if you got some vacation days to burn, I think Wednesday would be a great day for it. Looking past the seven day forecast, there is a lot of heat in the middle of the country. Meanwhile, we're on the other side of that, and it feels like that's how it's been. Other than little warm ups here or there this summer, we really haven't had an extended stretch of hot and humid conditions. It's even cooler than average for areas from mid Jersey on south to the Delmarva. Here's your seven day forecast, and you'll notice cooler temperatures for Thursday and Friday. And then we're back close to, if not slightly below average, as we head into this upcoming weekend. Highs in the low 80s inland and at the Connecticut shoreline, Sarah.